Welcome to Evolution. My name is Andre Lawrence and I'm sitting inside my car with David because it's really, really cold outside because it's winter in the province of Quebec and we're frozen from having filmed another video. But you don't care about that and this video isn't about what we're doing in that other video. It's about something that bugs me in this car and if you watch my video about the things that I hate for the EV6 then you'll know what one of those are. It's at the end of this console. Well, I found a solution on the internet. If you want to find out what that solution is for the tactile buttons at the end of my driver's console, stick around, I'll show you in a few seconds. If you haven't seen the video about the things that I hate about my Kia EV6, then I'll have a link for that up here on the screen for you to click on it so you can watch later. But one of the things that I hated was the fact that the capacitive buttons at the end of the center console were things that you could basically hit with your hand inadvertently when you're trying to change something on the multifunction panel that's right near it. Now, on one of the forums, I found somebody who had this little thing. It is a 3D printed panel that you put over those buttons and avoids you from clipping them inadvertently. Now, although this overall design is nice and the shape is perfect, I have a problem with symmetry not being the way it's supposed to be and things that are not centered perfectly. And that made me want to fix this. So these holes that aren't exactly where they should be and these lines that aren't exactly on the right angle of 3.5 degrees. Yes, I'm insane. Well, I decided to redo this and I have seven iterations because, well, I like perfection. Something else that I didn't like about this design is that it's printed so that the exposed face is upwards and that means that the finish has a little bit of 3D lines that you can sort of see. And the nice thing is when you've got a textured PEI plate in your 3D printer, it makes a nice textured finish. You don't see the lines. It's a little bit more of a professional finish. This is the seventh and final iteration. The holes are a little bit bigger. They've got a bigger chamfer. I've got them perfectly centered on each one. And these lines for the lights or the indicator lights for those touch buttons are now at 3.5 degrees. And they line up almost perfectly. Probably have to be 3.6 degrees, but I know when to stop. So with that being said, I have this file that I'll be sharing a link to in the description of this video. You can download it, it's completely free. It'll be on printables and it'll be on Maker World under my profile Xerces. And like I said, I'll have a link for that in the description below. It's a 19 or 18 minute print and it's something that's easily installed. All you have to do is put some double-sided sticky tape that's super thin and stick it centered over the center hole and you're done. And it really works. You can rest your hand on this. You can't clip the buttons, but you can still easily get to those buttons. And it has a major benefit and something that I hate about capacitive buttons is when you're driving and you want to put on the heated seat or the heated steering wheel, because they're capacitive and there's no physical delineation, you've got to look down and not look where you're driving so you can hit the right button. That annoys me to crazy ends of like, I, I hate it. So with this, I now know where the ventilated seat is, where the heated seat is and where the steering wheel button is. It is fantastic. It costs like five cents to print. It really does a great job. Now, with regards to those double-sided tape, I didn't have time to go run around for some 3M double-sided tape that's super thin at a couple different places. I looked online, but I wasn't gonna have something shipped this little roll of tape for something so insignificant. I went and I bought some, you might laugh, it's scotch tape, uh, but it's double-sided scotch tape for um, crafting or pictures. Super thin, so you have to put two layers at this thinner section here that's on the right side of the console because there's a bit of flex to it. But it held up at like minus 12, and the next day it was still stuck to the car. So. I'll be rocking scotch tape on the back of this for now, and if it doesn't work out, then I'll go buy some true 3M tape that holds it down. But like I said, the 3M tape has to be really, really thin if you want that nice finish to make it look like it's OEM. All you have to do is make sure that your double-sided tape is ready to go, and then you bring it over to the end, and the way to line it up is using the center hole to line it up with the heated steering wheel. And what I like to do is turn the heated steering wheel light on, so that way you can center it, and then press down firmly so that it's stuck in place. And now, 
Your tactile buttons are covered and no more accidental heated steering wheel or heated seat. You don't have to own a 3D printer to have this printed out. If you use an online service, you just download the file, upload it to them, and they'll mail it to you. And that's all you need to do to get this part if you don't own a 3D printer. Now, before we get to the next section, I got a message from somebody important. Did you know that YouTube gave all YouTubers a really terrible gift for the holiday season? It's a change in the way YouTube distributes videos. Did you know that even if you're subscribed to a really friendly, happy, Christmassy kind of channel, well, that doesn't mean that you'll know when our videos come out. That means that we work really hard to make really funny and interesting videos and try and inform you about some really cool things about electric vehicles, but you'll never know unless you click on that notification bell. Yep, that's right, the notification bell has become almost as important as the subscribe button for a YouTuber. That means that they have to dress up in stupid costumes and wear really funny slippers and try and get cats to sit on their laps but then they scratch them and they decide they don't want to be in their laps and then they have to bleed and then go to the bathroom to wash their hands and... <sighs> Please hit that notification bell and make sure you're subscribed. That means you'll know when our videos come out and we won't have to hassle you with ridiculous videos like this. Happy Holidays! Now with that being said, if you click that like button, it tells us that you like our content. And if you could share this video in places that you think people would appreciate it and where it's pertinent, that would really help us out because it makes other people see our content and maybe they'll subscribe. So with that being said, thanks for taking the time to watch our video.